just when we thought the allegations surrounding Diddy couldn't get any worse, Beyonce and J-Lo have also just been exposed for being involved in his trafficking operations. Apparently, Beyonce got introduced to all this by Jay-Z and she's been an active partner ever since. J-Lo, on the other hand, was very well aware of Diddy's illegal activities when they were dating, but instead of reporting him to the feds, she just joined in and helped him cover up one of his crimes. They've all been successfully getting away with their crimes for years now, but with the recent RICO charges that Diddy's been slapped with by his SA victims and the rigorous ongoing police investigation, the truth is being discovered, and it looks like Beyonce and J-Lo are gonna be exposed big time. Okay, so as most of y'all already know, the internet has been on Diddy's neck for months now, after he got accused of SA and trafficking. All his houses literally got raided by the feds a few days ago, and word on the street is, they found a lot of evidence against him that they can use to throw him in jail. But in typical Diddy fashion, he don't plan to go down that easily, so he decided to strike a deal with the feds to give them some intel about people in the industry that he's been working with over the years, and in exchange, they'll let him go. Now, it's unclear how the negotiations for this deal went down, because Beyonce and J-Lo have been incriminated, and they're doing everything in their power to make sure their involvement in Diddy's crimes is not publicized. In fact, there was recently a blind item that came out, saying J-Lo is already spiraling, and she's gotten in contact with a lawyer to help her with the ongoing police investigations because she's scared to go to jail. The blind item read, the A-list celebrity with everything in her mind has hired a lawyer to deal with the statements she made to police two decades ago, Jennifer Lopez. And in case y'all don't know what police statement this blind item is talking about, it has to do with the incident that J-Lo and her then-boyfriend Diddy were involved in back in 99. It all went down at a club in New York, where J-Lo, Diddy, and the entire Bad Boy Entertainment squad were present to celebrate the release of Shine's new studio album. Everything was going great, until Diddy got into a verbal altercation with a man named Matthew Allen, who's also known in the streets as Scar, after he accidentally spilled his drink all over him. Scar didn't take this very lightly, and he started talking and Diddy a little crazy. Diddy got upset and threw all his money at Scar like confetti. There was also reports that Scar was the one who tossed fat rubber band stacks at Diddy. But y'all get the point. It was a lot of testosterone in the room and they was both trying to one-up each other. The conflict escalated and rounds went off, one allegedly coming from Puffy's. Three of the club patrons were injured, one woman was hit in the face. J-Lo and Diddy sped away in the 99 Lincoln Navigator but they ran a red light and were pulled over by police. They were in possession of a stolen you-know-what, which was found in the trunk. They were arrested and spent the next 14 hours in a cell, where J-Lo was reportedly crying unintelligibly and sobbing uncontrollably. The charges were dropped after they got bailed out, but for some reason, Shine took the fall for Diddy and claimed that he was the one who pulled the trigger that night. Diddy reportedly gave Shine a million dollars to take the fall for him, with the promise of taking care of his family while he was locked up. But this is where things get a little more interesting, because at first, we thought Diddy was the one who snuck the gun to the club that night, but apparently it was J-Lo. This is something she's been doing for Diddy for a long time, but this time, it ended up getting somebody in the face. The woman who was also came out with a storyline on TikTok about the whole incident, and she confirmed it. I am the woman who he in the face in that 1999, December 27th, 1999, Club New York I have told everyone ad nauseum since then, even the surgeon who did the surgery to take the in my face with a nine millimeter, excuse me, nine millimeter hollow point, call the cop. I literally, have told everyone and never changed what I said. I watched him. I got pow pow in the face. I watched him fire. The I've said it 
all this time. As if all of that ain't bad enough, there's also been some speculations that Beyonce and Jay-Z are involved in Diddy's shady business. Apparently, Jay and Diddy have also been partners, but Beyonce got involved as well when they got married. Initially, people thought Beyonce was blindsided by Jay and was innocent in all of this, but it looks like that's far from the truth. Because according to sources, Beyonce is well aware that Jay is next to go down after Diddy, and she's already started putting things in place for them to get a divorce before all that happens. The divorce is rumored to be low-key because Beyonce doesn't plan on publicizing it until Jay's actually arrested. This was seemingly confirmed by the popular YouTube blogger Storm Monroe, who said they got the news directly from somebody in Beyonce's camp. Apparently, this is also why Beyonce is pushing out all her projects so fast, because she knows that Jay's arrest has the potential to completely mess up her career, so she's trying to cash in as much as she can. This explains why she's been outside so much recently. I mean, she released two new albums, went on tour, released a film, and now a hair care line in less than two years. I don't know about y'all, but it's kind of unlike Beyonce to push out so much in such a short amount of time, unless she knows something is coming that could possibly destroy the influence she has on people. Because one thing about Beyonce, she gonna put that money first before anything and anybody else, and that's what she's doing right now. So they together, but they live in separate. And part of the reason why they have, or they're already living separate lives and we may actually see one of the biggest divorces in Hollywood is because Jay-Z is up next to be exposed. And it's only so much of these stories that Jay-Z, you know, he can pay off or he can block. He won't be able to stop this. And she knows it and he knows it too. Um, as far as who's gonna be the breakout victim slash story i i don't, I don't know yeah i might have to ask recently i don't know but i'm just letting you know that once that comes out and jay-z is exposed for his nefarious past you're gonna see beyonce before so okay and she's gonna she may or may not do an interview but you may you you're gonna um their publicist is gonna release something she's gonna say oh the carters have been separated for some time they built this beautiful life blah 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 now before all this happens we may get another tour we may get another album out of both of them i don't know because at the end of the day they bought their money first they're gonna do what's best for business first um as far as Beyonce is concerned, do she love him? I mean, he's really all that she knows. She was ready to leave him years ago, but the industry is its just, it's different. And I don't want to say it's an Illuminati contract because I don't know how the Illuminati get down. I really don't know. And I'm not going to lie to you and say I do. But essentially, she's been stuck. Aside from her ditching Jay, she definitely isn't planning on holding back from telling the feds whatever she has on Jay. Her main objective is to look as innocent as she can in all of this so that after everything settles, she ain't gonna get canceled. Y'all already know, Beyonce values her reputation over everything else. So this isn't really that surprising. Chell, never in my life did I think Beyonce and JLo would be this dirty and get caught up in all this mess. But that just goes to show how shady these celebrities actually are in real life. Putting up this fake image of themselves in public and brainwashing everybody into thinking they're such good people when there's actually skeletons in the closet. Now, as usual, people had their own thoughts about this. Like this person who said, Beyonce is in on it too. Trying to wash her dirty hands clean by leaving Jay is pathetic. These are the people generations looked up to. Another person said, no one can control JLo. She's a bossy narcissist. No one. Whatever she did, she is to blame. That poor woman being shot is bad enough. How did she even survive? Peace and love to the victim. But now I want to know your thoughts. What do y'all think about Beyonce and JLo getting caught up by the feds? And do y'all think they're as innocent as they trying to make us all believe they are? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.